a Texas man accused of kidnapping his roommate's children is maintaining his decision to flee with the young girls. According to court documents obtained by the Houston Chronicle, Terrence Allen Miles claims he took the two children and ran because he feared crazy Mexicans were coming for them. Miles linked the unidentified Mexicans to the killing of the girl's mother, Tanya Ellen Bates, whom he shared a home with. The Houston Chronicle reported that Miles was taken into custody on Wednesday after he was pulled over in Colorado. It was then that authorities discovered Lillian I's Victoria K. Griffith, 14, and Lulu Violet Mariposo Bandera Magret, 7, in the vehicle with him. The traffic stop ended an exhaustive search for Miles and the girls that kicked off in late December after police were called to Bates' home for a welfare check. Bates reportedly failed to show up for a 7 a.m. shift the day before police came to the home, according to the outlet. Upon further inspection, Round Rock police found that Bates had died of blunt force trauma. She's believed to have died sometime on December 29th. Died according to the Houston Chronicle, Bates' car and her two children were missing when police found her body. Authorities issued an Amber Alert, which included a tip about Miles, who was considered a person of interest in the girl's alleged kidnapping at the time. It stated that he may be headed for Louisiana. Police obtained surveillance footage from a local Walmart that showed Miles buying camping supplies on December. 30. The outlet reported that he appeared to be driving Bates' car and had been stocking up on sleeping bags, tarps, and ropes. Shortly after he was spotted at the store, Miles is believed to have sent a text to his mother from Bates' 14 year old's phone. Mom I left with the kids and came home to something bad I think Tanya's boyfriend, it read, according to the Houston Chronicle. I can't talk now Tanya was involved in some bad stuff I will talk to you later when I'm safe these guys are crazy Mexicans. A ping from the girl's phone was detected near Lubbock, the outlet reported. Someone had been using it to make calls to New Mexico. Investigators working the case reportedly discovered the younger girl's phone discarded in a wooded area near Round Rock. Shortly after noon that same day license plate readers near Raton, New Mexico picked up Bates' vehicle heading toward Colorado, court records obtained by the publication revealed. Miles was later caught on security camera in Trinidad, Colo. By Wednesday, police had reason enough to call off the Amber Alert in Texas and issue one in Colorado. Later that day an anonymous tip came into the Los Animas County deputies stating that the missing car had been spotted. Authorities were able to locate it and follow it for a few miles before pulling the driver over. Both girls were inside the vehicle and were unharmed. Miles was taken into police custody without issue. According to the Houston Chronicle, Miles has no prior charges against him in Texas. His rap sheet is not entirely clean, however. He is currently on probation for a 2015 domestic violence conviction in Louisiana and was named a person of interest in a July 2014 murder that occurred in Sulphur. In 2011 Miles was charged with second-degree attempted murder after he attempted to suffocate a woman he was dating. He reportedly staged a suicide scene in the hopes of getting away with the crime. Charges in that case were later dropped. He was due in court Thursday afternoon. Miles reportedly waived his right to a preliminary hearing and prosecutors have requested he be held without bail. Miles is currently in federal custody on kidnapping charges. He has not been charged in connection with Bates' death.